Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. Today we are discussing Rebel Moon, more specifically the star of Rebel Moon, Sophia Butella. Now there is no denying that Rebel Moon Part 1 didn't have the best reviews, especially from the critics, and I have to say, when I began making this video, I was concerned about the future of the Rebel Moon universe, and with the way Sophia Butella was talking in this interview, it sounded like she has those same fears too. But after doing some research, I don't think things are as bad as they seem, so let's get into today's video. In an interview with Vulture, Sophia defended Snyder's latest movie, saying, I always thought thought that I was fully armed to take on those punches, and then I read the critics that came down on Rebel Moon, and it really affected me. I'm just going to be honest about it, I feel like I'm carrying it for everybody that cared so much about this project, and that's what affected me. Not the way I look, if anything, I've been pretty lucky and people like my work in it, but the movie was criticised. It really affected me for all those who put so much heart, tears and sweat into this project, she continued. It's hard to to see something being demolished to that extent. I'm proud to have been a part of it, and if there is no more Rebel Moon, it will be a very important part of my life that I will defend forever." So quite a sad interview there. She clearly has been affected by the bashing of the movie, and isn't hopeful for the future, but she will always defend that movie. For me, it was no cinematic masterpiece, and I don't really think I was expecting one, but I really enjoyed the film. I have my fair share of issues with the movie, and it's far from perfect, but on the whole, I liked it. With 5 out of 10 being the average or the midpoint, I would give the movie about a 6.5, maybe 7 out of 10. I liked it, but I completely understand why others wouldn't. Now she says she read the critics' reviews and saw that they really came down on the movie, and they really did. I have voiced my own lack of interest in critics, as I don't really think that they are useful anymore, and they seem to have quite a differing view on movies to myself and many other moviegoers. And in my opinion, the whole Rotten Tomatoes website is just very unreliable. With Rotten Tomatoes, you seem to be getting less and less reviews on there, and they seem like a really unreliable website now, and I don't think they present the data well enough. Which is why I like IMDB more, because I feel it's a more professional and reliable website that allows you to analyse the ratings more accurately. So let's have a look at IMDB's rating for Rebel Moon. So based on over 100,000 ratings, the movie is on a 5.6 out of 10, so only just above average. A bit lower than my own rating, but still, out of the 100,000 ratings given, the score rated the film just above average. And what I really like about IMDB is that you can see the percentage of those scores, which gives us more transparency as to what people actually thought about the movie. So as you can see, out of the 100,000 people who rated the movie, the largest percentage was 19% for 6 out of 10, so around 19,000 people. So I think the notion that most people hated this movie isn't actually true. If we look at this graph, we can see what those 100,000 people voted for. And I don't know about you, but when I rank these movies out of 10, this is what each number represents to me. I've seen some people arguing that 7 out of 10 is average, which just doesn't make any sense to me, but so I thought I would just clarify what I see when I see these numbers. And so based on this graph and using the way I perceive ratings out of 10, we can actually see that more people voted for good than any other rating, with very good or 7 out of 10 then being voted for as the next highest, and then average or 5 out of 10. So once again, not as bad as some are making it out to be. And just to add as much evidence as we can, let's look at the Rotten Tomatoes scores. Now they only have 173 reviews from critics, and the average score they have given is 4.2 out of 10, and the audience score only has 5,000 plus reviews, and the average score they have given is 3.2 out of 5, or 6.4 out of 10. So the audience had more people reviewing it, and the average feeling was that the movie was good. And the audience score here, whilst had far lower ratings than IMDb, did have a similar outcome to IMDb's. Both were somewhere between 5 and 7 out of 10. So I definitely think Rebel Moon wasn't as universally hated as some make it out to be. It wasn't universally loved at all, but the argument that the movie was terrible and no one loved it isn't accurate. 
And I'm not here trying to debunk your own opinion on the movie. I would never try and do that. And it's actually impossible to do because we are talking about opinions on movies, but I'm not trying to prove your opinion is wrong or something like that. All I'm trying to do is work out what the overall feeling was towards Rebel Moon. Not Snyder haters, not Snyder hardcore fans, but people in general. And I'm actually surprised by these IMDB results because one look at Twitter and you would think the movie is either loved or hated and there's nothing really in between. But actually, as usual, there is a silent majority and from IMDB it is clear that the majority thought the movie was good or average. But so what does this mean for the future of the Rebel Moon universe? Well, initially when I heard the Rotten Tomatoes score and the way people were talking about it on social media, I was worried. It didn't sound very good and I thought the Rebel Moon universe was unfortunately going to end after two movies. But since I've done this research, things are now nowhere near as bad as people were making out. I think there are many things Rebel Moon could improve on and that can happen with time and developing the story further and maybe even the director's cut can help that, but the point is, the movie was a success and it wasn't as hated as some people are making it out to be. So as for Sophia's final line where she says, if there is no more Rebel Moon, I think there will be more Rebel Moon, especially if part 2 can reach the same amount of views or more and the reviews are the same or better. But I think it needs to be improved upon to have a longer life as a franchise. I think the writing needs to be refined a bit, whether that be Snyder himself or they hire a writer to help him do that, and I think Snyder should bring in either Larry Fong or Fabian Wagner as the cinematographer so Snyder can focus on directing and have a really experienced cinematographer on the job. But maybe the director's cuts will fix my issues with the movie, I will have to wait and see for that, but I have to judge this on what I have actually seen, not speculation on a cut we haven't seen yet. And based on what I have seen, those are the changes I think need to be made for the Rebel Moon universe to have a longer shelf life. But as for Rebel Moon Park, Part 1, the movie was a success and more importantly it's a stepping stone. It was an introduction to this new universe and there are things they can learn from and I think they will have the opportunity to do so. If the movie was hated by almost everyone then I think they probably would have stopped this franchise after part 2 unless that movie had a sudden increase in popularity. But because the movie wasn't actually hated by the majority and most people found it average or good then it means they have the opportunity to improve because this will give them just enough ammunition to say, let's make part three. And part one was far from perfect in my opinion, but it looks like most agree it was far from terrible. An average score of around six out of 10 is good, but not great. And you've got to be aiming for at least great. So there are improvements needed. Whether we see them happen in the director's cuts or future installments, we will have to wait and see. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!